We have here an image that's too dark in the foreground and a little bit too light in the background. This is a fairly common problem if you forget to turn on your flash. Now we've got a tool in Photoshop that can probably fix this. It's a thing called Shadow Highlight. Now it's a destructive tool. So I've made a copy of the layer, which I've got over here, which we'll be using for the exercise. I'll go to the Image Adjustment menu and open up Shadow Highlight. Now it automatically applies its built-in defaults, which is for shadows, and that's what kills off the dark area in the foreground. It uses a pretty clever combination of luminosity masking to create this effect. If you pull down the shadow amount, it tones down how much of the shadow is being killed off. If you increase it, it will accentuate it. Now when you go up into the high register of this particular tool, the colours can start to look a bit strange, so I'll stick with the built-in setting. Highlights, we don't normally fool around with this too often, but if you've got this really, really bright background, you can use the highlight slider to kill off the worst of those bright highlight effects to get a bit more balance in the image. Now there's a Show More Options button here, or box here, and I'll just click and turn it on. And it just increases the amount of options you've got for each of the tools. The Shadows tool we just had in the Mount function, but we can also play with the Tonal Width, which plays really with the colour settings. The Radius, which is how many pixels adjacent to each other it's going to affect. So you can fine-tune it. Highlight has exactly the same function for Amount and Tonal Width, so you can determine just how much you want to kill off of the offending background highlights along with radius and tonal width as to how smoothly the transition will occur and a third adjustment which we didn't have available this is for colour and mid-tone this is actually pretty important sometimes the colour will go a bit strange looking when you use this tool so if you use colour correction you can either desaturate it or you can increase the saturation. Normally you have to increase the saturation when you start killing off the shadows. Midtone is just like a gamma slider and you can use that to fine-tune the hardness of the luminosity settings in the midtones. I'll say OK. So that's before and that's after. It's not a bad result.